Moses joining me on the desk for our first look at sports. Now, it didn't really seem that long since the Bobcats were out of action, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it's like, no, they're back getting ready for the upcoming season. It just seems so quick. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you know what? It's appropriate today because we have snow on the ground, so it kind of seems like hockey season, doesn't are it? We, Just a little bit. Are we blaming the Bobcats for the snow? Well, uh, you heard it them. here. I'm not blaming them. <laughs> Just saying the weather's cooperating with the spring camp, uh, kind of. Uh, you know what? The Bobcats, speaking of which, are wasting no time in the next three days, uh, and they're putting on their spring camp to see how their boys will do. Now, 146 hopefuls from Alberta, Saskatchewan, and the United States are showcasing their talents for the Cats organization, and they're happy to get as many players out for the camp. We uh, obviously wanted to open up the doors in Westminster a little bit more for kids from the south and Saskatchewan. We've had a really good turn from Saskatchewan, and, and we're younger. There's no doubt about it that when you look at our team, we're a veteran team that's uh, got a lot of older guys returning. We do have to insert some young blood in there, and, and if not for this year, certainly for a future. So. Not only are the players anxious to get the new season underway, so is head coach Gary Van Herway, who's making the return to the bench for the first time in three years. It feels real good just get back on the bench, even though it's just a spring camp. You, you know, I'm a guy that's been off the bench for a few years, so there's things I need to get back when you talk about getting rid of the, rid of the rust. Uh, the next three days will be busy for Van Herway, and the scouts are only inviting the top 25 to 30 players to their main camp. Van Herway, though, knows exactly what he's looking for. Yeah, the skating abilities, compete levels, uh, how they think the game, how they play without the puck, those little things are the guys who are going to be able to survive in a main camp against a lot more veteran, veteran lineup. Sticking with hockey, it was a battle of the Bisons last night at the 2013 Alberta Junior B Provincials. The host, Wainwright, took on Okotoks. Early in the first, Okotoks gets on the board. Zachary Baba crashes the net and gets credit for the goal. 1-0 Bisons. The other Bisons respond to turnover in the Okotoks zone. Cody Foley to Jason McKinley. Tyler Hughes makes the save. Moments later, Cody Bird tries his best Dan Boyle impersonation. From behind his own net, undressing all five players. However, Hughes stands his ground. Okotoks add to their lead before the end of the period. The point shot is tipped wide, but Dylan Loomer throws it towards goal and it deflects off Scott McCluskey skating in. 2 nothing visitors. In the second, Wainwright pulls within one. McCluskey's shot handcuffs Hughes and the big man redeems himself. It's 2-1. to one. The home side didn't stop there. Midway through the frame, Brandon Muse to Derek Fisterer to a wide open Lucas Bench. And we're all tied up at twos through two. Okotoks with the best chance in the third. A giveaway leads to Philip Dillon's breakaway, but his shot is high and wide. This one would end in a stalemate, 2-2 the final. The Wainwright Bisons and the Calgary Rangers are well underway in their contest. And we'll look at the board as, as well as the Vipers. Uh, they'll be taking on Cold Lake uh, later tonight at 7 o'clock. Some early games from today. The Grand Prairie JDA Kings rebound from yesterday's loss, 6-2 uh, over Wetaskiwin. And the Okotoks Bisons beat Sherwood Park 6-2. to two. Uh, Dylan, or Philip Dillon had two goals and an assist for the Bisons, the gentleman that just missed uh, the breakaway chance at the end of those highlights from last night there. And that is your first look at sports. Stick around. Gerard will have your weather details after the break. <laughs> 